In the air conditioning system, the only acceptable places for water are the cooling coil, condensate drain pan, and the drain system. All other places are unacceptable. To be effective, a drain system must overcome the pressures and airflow conditions created inside the drain pan compartment by the fan. Without an effective drain system, condensate flow is adversely affected. In draw-through systems as illustrated here, water is blown back into the air handler and drain pan overflow is common. In the industry, the most commonly used drain seal is the condensate trap, installed on the drain connection as illustrated. It uses water to form the drain seal. In theory, the design and operation is simple. The geometry of the trap is determined by the negative pressure created in the drain pan compartment by the fan. When the air conditioning system is not operating, the trap must retain enough water to affect a seal when operation begins. When the air conditioning unit starts, the trap water rises, negates the negative pressure, and prevents airflow into the drain pan. As condensate flows, the trap is filled, and the water column rises to a level necessary for condensate to flow from the trap. When the unit cycles off, the water returns to the trap and the cycle can be repeated. In theory, the condensate trap appears to be a simple and economical drain seal. In practice, however, it exhibits so many failure modes that it imposes unacceptable damage and contamination on the entire air conditioning system and the building. Many of these critical failure modes were identified by ASHRAE in their standard 6289R, which discusses drains and drain pans in paragraph 564. What ASHRAE standard 6289R says about condensate traps is quoted as follows. Condensate traps exhibit many failure modes that can impact on indoor air quality. Trap failures due to freeze up, drying out, breakage, blockage, and or improper installation can compromise the seal against air ingestion through the condensate drain line. Traps with insufficient height between inlet and outlet on draw-through systems can cause the drain to back up when the fan is on, possibly causing drain pan overflow or water droplet carryover into the duct system. The resulting moist surfaces can become sources of biological contamination. Seasonal variations such as very dry or cold weather may adversely affect trap operation and condensate removal. The trap failure modes identified by ASHRAE can be divided into three categories, those due to inherent trap deficiencies, trap design deficiencies, and unwise field practices. Inherent trap deficiencies include unavoidable and frequent flow blockage, susceptibility to freeze damage, dry and useless at startup and winter time, and dry and useless on secondary drains. These deficiencies are common to any trap, regardless of the design. Design deficiencies of traps include improper trap depth, incorrect height between trap inlet and outlet, no provisions for priming and cleanout, specifying traps for secondary drains, trap or drain seal not specified, or the inadequate space for installing a trap or drain seal. Unwise field practices include double trap airlock, trap removed, failure to clean trap regularly, failure to prime at startup and winter time, and leaving the port for cleanout and priming open. The damaging and health-threatening conditions caused by trap failures are widespread. In this country, millions of systems are equipped with condensate traps, a situation which virtually ensures that some buildings will never attain a true sustainable green building status. The seriousness of trap failures and their effect on sustainable green buildings is not fully appreciated by many in the industry. This lack of appreciation is understandable. Air handlers and other components in air conditioning systems are enclosed and internal damage is not readily visible to the owner or service personnel. Typically, what they see during operations are units like those shown in the top photographs. Only when the cabinet is open can the damage be revealed, as shown in the lower photographs. But even then, the causes are not apparent but they can be illustrated vividly using laboratory simulated air handlers with transparent panels. These simulators allow building owners and other concerned parties to see and understand how trap failures cause damage and contamination to their air handlers and buildings.
To illustrate the problems caused when a system is operated without a trap, the laboratory simulator is being operated with a negative pressure near one half inch of water, typical of small draw-through systems. Deflection of the benzene lighter flame shows how contaminated air can be drawn into the unit. And the introduction of smoke near the drain outlet shows how polluted air can be drawn into the system and spread into the conditioned space. The two views, one inset, show the blowing of condensate as the drain pan fills and that it continues even after condensate begins to flow from the pan. Even greater problems arise when systems are operated at a more negative pressure. Here operation is at a negative 1.5 inches of water. Systems are often operated at this or more negative pressures. As can be seen, condensate blowing becomes intense. Flow cannot occur at this pressure because water will overflow from the drain pan before drainage can begin. Also, as shown by blue paper placed in the blower discharge stream, water particles can be carried into the ductwork and cause damage to insulation and other components. Here, the effect of operating a system with an empty trap is illustrated. During startup for summer cooling, the empty trap acts like a missing trap, causing similar damage and contamination to the system and building. Debris and algae growth frequently block traps as shown here and cause drain pan overflow. This is one of the most common causes of building property damage and contamination. Condensate traps exposed to freezing temperatures are frequently ruptured as depicted here. Since a ruptured trap cannot retain condensate, it acts like an empty trap. Observe that water leaks from the trap and allows air ingestion and condensate blowing during the cooling operation. Ports provided for trap cleanout and priming must be covered during all operating conditions. If for maintenance conveniences the port is left uncovered by design or service personnel, the trap acts like a missing trap and causes all the same problems. The effect of operating an actual draw-through system without a trap is shown here. Note the condensate spillage from around the edges of this particular unit. Now, using a transparent panel to observe further, see that condensate has overflowed from the drain pan and that the blowing is much like that shown by the simulated air handler. The consequences of trap failures, including those just demonstrated with laboratory simulators, are summarized here. High velocity air entering through failed traps can blow condensate into the system and ductwork. In addition, High negative pressure or flow blockage can cause the drain pan to overflow. These events cause damage to the air handler and the building, creating a perpetual internal wetness, a fertile growth place for mold, bacteria, and other health-threatening biological contaminants. The property damage and maintenance effort required for this type system eliminates any hope for low life cycle cost. Further, since all the air inside a building may pass through the contaminated air handler several times per hour, Health-threatening conditions are virtually certain. Thus, the use of systems equipped with condensate traps, in reality, rules out the realization of sustainable green buildings. The photographs that follow show examples of the damage that condensate trap failures cause to equipment and buildings. These photographs show a small rooftop air conditioning system, which was operated without a trap as a result of an inherent trap deficiency and an unwise field practice. The damage and contamination shown are the results of flooding caused by a blocked trap and were accelerated by condensate blowing and possible flooding when the trap was removed. This large indoor air handler has two traps, primary and secondary, that exhibit both inherent and design deficiencies. Observe the damage and contamination caused by these traps. Note, the design includes no provision for priming. Unprimed during winter operation, outside air is ingested through both traps. At startup for summer cooling, the primary trap allows condensate to be blown from the pan and possibly cause overflow. Whenever overflow occurs and reaches the unprimed secondary drain trap, the same condensate blowing and overflow conditions are repeated. The resulting system damage and contamination are inevitable. Far too often, HVAC systems fail to successfully dispose of the condensate they generate. It then ends up on internal surfaces of the air handler as shown in these photographs or on building components as pictured here. The wetted surfaces cause corrosion and provide a fertile growth place for contaminating organisms. Commonplace and widespread, the results are costly property damage and significant health threats. 
The trap drain systems shown here meet both uniform and international codes, which simply state that drain systems must be trapped. The geometry of the traps vary greatly, but they represent the industry standard design. These traps, and the conditions that often accompany them, are clearly unacceptable. Therefore, a reliable condensate drain system is required. A practical solution to these problems is the Coast Guard Condensate Drain Seal, a seal designed, developed, tested and patented by a professional engineer with expertise and many years of experience in the dynamics of fluid flow. It has been proven in both the laboratory and the field. The seal protects the building owner or user against undue cost in terms of maintenance effort, property damage, early equipment replacement, and health care. For this reason, the word cost guard is used to identify this seal. The seal is simple, has no moving parts, and is self-regulating.